Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be another L3 Waxy Wonders haul. I just love Jennifer's stuff. Love, love, love. So let's get into it. She always sends a really cute little quote and this is done is better than perfect, which is always really sweet. I got some samples. I got spoons for the scoopables, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, I guess we'll start with loaves. They're at the bottom of the bag, but, or they're at the bottom of the box, but we'll pull those out first. So I did two orders. I She always combines your orders and refunds shipping, which is amazing. Super appreciative of that. So I did do two orders for this restock because I just couldn't stay away. This is Cashmere Cedar, Cedar Toasted Mallow. And Cashmere Cedar is just, oh, it's gorgeous. This is such a beautiful scent, like absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit warm, it's a little bit sexy, it's creamy. Oh, I thought Cedar, I think I did it in a previous haul where I said Cedar and I thought that it would smell like a tree, but nope. It's just gorgeous. To me, this is a very relaxing type of scent. Um, you know, most people melt lavender to relax. I hate lavender, so I prefer prefer these creamy, sexy types of scents like this. Um, what's the one? Black chamomile from Bat Leg of the Bath and Body Works type. Um, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, those types of scents. Cashmere Glow, love that. So, Cashmere Cedar, really, really lovely. Let me have, whoa, sorry, these loaves are just so big. <laughs> we have, what's going on here? We have Santa's on Keto, which is vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cookies. So it's basically um, her don't cross streams with brown sugar and butter cookies. And it's this gorgeous purple. Now I didn't, I have strayed away from this for so long because I have a blend with it that smelled like nacho cheese and I don't know what the heck happened with that, but this, oh, so good. I just decided to bite the bullet and try it. And this is a freaking phenomenal bakery, not even bakery, just vanilla heaven, really. Vanilla sweet cookie heaven. Oh, it is, it is phenomenal. If you've tried her Don't Cross Dreams, it is similar, but it's different because it's got those butter cookies and the brown sugar. Really lovely. Then we have Saltwater Mermaid and Saltwater Princess. And I've had both of these before, so I don't have the scent descriptions on me, but they're both very aquatic. So they have a little bit of like white floral notes to them, but they do not smell florally because we all know your girl don't do florals. And this is gorgeous. Uh, it's a little bit of fruity. It's a little bit of aquatic. It's a little bit of, I guess, like it doesn't smell floral, but I, I know, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. They're just really good scents <laughs> mixed together. Mmm, gorgeous. Really happy to have those blended together because I have them separate, but you know, why not already have them blended? So those are the loaves that I got. And then we can go into packs. We have Saltwater Mermaid and Mermaid Munchies. And I did pull up the set notes for Mermaid Munchies because I didn't know what it was. It is Sunkissed Valencia Orange, Lemon, Honeydew Melon, Red Berries, Palm Leaf, Water Lotus, Pink Jasmine, Vanilla Orchid, and Apple Blossom. So there's a lot going on there, but I wanted to try it. And this is so pretty, you guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It is aquatic, but sweet, but you know, you get the fruits. Mm, I just, I just love her stuff. Oh, everything she makes is good. So good. I enjoy those. Then we have Jubilee, which is vanilla ombre cake, creamy whipped cream frosting, and marshmallow fluff center. So another really, you know, sugary cake goodness. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like perfect white cake 
with frosting. Mm. I like that. And her vanillas are always so strong, so strong. We have sugar cookie dough, cotton candy frosting. Pretty self-explanatory. We got bunts. These are so easy to cut. These I cut into half. You've seen those before. These I cut into, what do I cut these in? Sixes, I think. Mmm, good. Just sugar cookies and cotton candy frosting. Heavier on the cotton candy frosting, but that's cool. Pink lemonade pound cake cotton candy. This is actually a request of mine. I was trying to dupe like the Bath and Body Works scent, you know, that candle. Ugh, just smells like pink lemonade, honestly. I don't get any sugar cookie dough or pound cake. Or what did I say? Not sugar cookie, cotton candy. It's mostly pound, um, pink lemonade, but I love her pink lemonade, so I'm really not complaining. Camp Crystal Lake, sea kelp, driftwood, sea moss, and leaves. I have this in one of her hybrid loaves, and I just wanted to try it by itself because that hybrid loaf smells phenomenal. This is great. Outdoor, aquatic, a little bit outdoorsy, a little bit of um, like green, not green, but like you know that that note that that like sea moss and kelp note gives you like the aquatic plant vibe. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's just really good. She kills the aquatic and fresh. She, she, just, she just kills everything, let's be real. I have one of these cloud cakes. This is cookie crack, which is pink frosted animal cookies, sugar cookie dough, and whipped cream. And this is nice. I think I, I think I've officially decided that her animal cookies is not for me. It's good. Just, I don't know. It's got a weird vibe to it. Not weird, but... It doesn't just smell like sugar cookies, you know? I don't know if it's an almond or like a cinnamon cookie, you know? I don't know what exactly what it is, but it still smells good. Let's try to push these back, back into the, the shadows. Um, okay, what else? All right, let's do, let's do these trig tarts. And I love these things, these things, have grown on me. I mean, they didn't grow on me. I've always really liked them. I'm just looking for a scent note. Here it is. All right, so this is what her trick tarts are. I I break four pieces off. I've talked about it before. This is Seattle Rain, and the scent notes are sea spray, cactus, sea moss, and driftwood that smells just like the Puget Sound on a foggy morning. I don't know what that is. I'm not from Seattle. I'm the farthest from, well, not the farthest, but this is incredible, you guys. Okay, when I first smelled this, I knew it smelled good, and I, I said, this smells similar to something that I really, really like, and I figured it out. I was just sniffing it, re-sniffing. You know how you sniff a package when it comes in, then you re-sniff later? This smells very similar. I have to compare, but from scent memory, it smells so similar to Seaside from Hayden Row. And I love that scent. But Hayden Row is so incredibly hard to order from because she never has whatever I want. It, it's just hard to order. This smells so similar. The notes are completely different. But for some reason, when I smell that, my brain says, oh my gosh, that smells like Seaside from Hayden Row. So I requested that in Loaves for the next restock. Hopefully it comes. <laughs> Hopefully she does it. This is Gain. I've gotten this before. It's just a really good Gain. Just perfect. I love it. It's good. I think I've gotten that before. Spring Breeze. Let's see if I can find the scent notes for this. An L3 favorite. Out for a walk on a sunny spring evening and the wind blows. This is what that smells like. A combination of flowering trees and fresh, clean air. Now I got this because someone in my Facebook groups really, really loves this. So I got it because we have pretty similar noses. This is good. I don't know exactly how to describe it. You definitely get an outdoorsy, fresh air type of vibe, but you totally, totally get 
like I guess flowering trees. It doesn't smell floral. It just smells really, really lovely and nice. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm gonna have to use this one up quick, quick though because they hole punched it right through the zipper. So I'm afraid scent is gonna leak out. I'll have to use that one quick. Funnel cake. What was I? Knock it down. Funnel cake. This is good. Not a cinnamon spiced vanilla or like a spicy cinnamon that some people do funnel cake. Good. Not as good as another vendor that I've smelled, but good. Then we have Oceans. I don't know if this one is on the scent description. Um, let's see. It might be on her house blends. Mm. Yeah, she doesn't have this one on this particular page. It's just good. It's aquatic scent. I hauled it before, so you can go back. I don't know. Maybe I didn't haul that order. I forget. But it's a good aquatic scent. Not manly what else whatsoever. Just aquatic. Saltwater Princess. I think this one is here. Let's see. Saltwater Princess, Himalayan salt, Valencia orange, coconut water, Bulgarian lavender, vanilla flower, sea spray, beach moss, and amber sands. Now I would never order this on its own, but I tried it. You know, recommendations of friends. They loved it. I got it mixed with boardwalk marshmallow clouds in a loaf. Smells amazing. I just wanted it by itself. It's amazing. I, it says lavender. I don't get any lavender. Thank God. It's just a slightly creamy from that coconut water um aquatic type of scent this is lovely it's just freaking good and we have cocoa butter cashmere pretty straightforward it's good just not the best i've ever smelled again i like a different vendors better but i'm sure l3s will be just fine then we have some of these puppy packs in these Halloween themes. So this one is Pennywise, and I don't have the scent notes, but the uh, invoice has the scent notes. So let me get it. Pennywise is sweet funnel cake dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. This is not a spicy funnel cake scent. And it has all these Halloween shapes, so stinking cute. And these cost $3.85. Mm, this one's okay, I don't love. It's definitely not a spicy funnel cake scent, but I just don't think I like her raspberry and strawberry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love this one. It's okay. I have, you know, the trick tart in funnel cake, so I can just add some more funnel cake to this if need be. Then I have another one in Sleepy Hollow, and this is vanilla pound cake with pumpkin cream filling and cream cheese frosting. Again, Halloween shapes, so cute. I don't love this one either. Pumpkin is really difficult for me in vendors because sometimes they're just funky. Either either way too spicy, they're way too craft store-y. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I gotta go quick. The dogs are barking. Riverbank Avalon Sea Kelp, really good aquatic scent. Here's Jenny Don't Cross Dreams, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pretzel Bakery Bomb, Ultimate Vanilla. Smells just like pretzels, a little extra creamy. And then Sugar Cookie Dough, Cotton Candy Frosting, again, in a different scoop. And my samples I got, Greek Island Breeze. It's good. It's just a little powdery. I'm not a fan of that scent. Laundry Room Downy Blue Lemon. This one's really good, but lemony. Laundry Lemon, if you like that. And Cashmere Cotton Candy Tonka Noir. Good, creamy cotton candy scent. That is it, you guys. Sorry for rushing at the end, but someone is at the door. And thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you love L3, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.